What's going on? Happy Friday. I'm doing a video a little bit later uh, than usual. I had some busy stuff to do this morning. So hope everybody's having a great day. Sorry, a little allergy cotton mouth here. All right, so quick thing here, okay? Quick strategy. This comes up a lot, especially now. People want to buy a house. There, it's very competitive. Uh, the inventory is the lowest that it's been, I think, is about 50 years. Yeah, so it's very, very tough. So it's very important uh, when you own a house here, there's a couple of different strategies to, to use to, to get you an edge of, of buying like another house. So for an example, people from up north, like, you know, the communist state of New York, my former state, there's a lot of people moving down to Florida, okay? Well, they have a lot of equity in the house up there. So instead of just waiting to sell their house because, you know, trying to do a contingency contract on the sale of the house to purchase the one in Florida makes it very difficult to, to stand ahead of other contract offers. Because, you know, in some houses, you're, you're looking at five or six, 10 offers, 15 offers. It's just crazy. So what you could do is if you have a lot of equity in a house, before you put it on the market, take a home equity line out. Very, very cheap to do. Okay. Have that home equity line just sit there. Then put your house in the market. Okay. The home equity line, you keep the balance at zero until you're ready to use it. Now, when it's time to purchase the house in Florida, uh, as an example, or Tennessee or anywhere, you can take the home equity line and pay cash for the house, okay? If, if you have enough equity, which a lot of times people do, like if they're moving from California or from up north, there's a lot of equity in their house, you know, because houses are worth more up there. Uh, it's all relative. So basically, use that home equity line to pay cash for houses. It's essentially like a bridge loan, um, the old bridge loan that, that people have talked about. But basically, you, you're using the equity before you sell, okay? Um, now let's stop there. Let's say you sell up there and have a lot of cash to, to, to pay down on a house in Florida. Well, obviously that's going to make your offer just as strong as using a home equity line. And, and the thing is a home equity line is, is going to be looked at as cash because you're paying cash, uh, for, you know, for the house that there's going to be no financing on it. Okay. Essentially, because it's already set up for you. So now you, you move down to sunny Florida, it's warm, you're enjoying yourself, you have no mortgage but you want to take out a mortgage, okay? A cash out. Well, now we're going to come across the, you know, like, you know, financing that's, that's going to take some time. Okay. It's, it's called, it's called like delayed financing. And with that delayed financing, that's going to take a little time for you to get money out. Usually you have to wait six months unless you hit all the exceptions and there's exceptions for each one. I mean, I've got them printed out here for Fannie Mae. There's probably seven different things that have to be tapped into. If somebody's looking for FHA, they have to have a 12-month seasoning time, uh, period um, is, is you know, needed. So there's not really an exception too much on that. But there's different exceptions. If you're looking for conventional FHA, VA uh, type of financing and so forth, there's different categories on it. But usually you have to wait at least six months. But to try to get that exception to do it much sooner, then you have to you know, check off all the boxes to get that money you know, sooner before six months. Okay. If you got any questions on that, let me know, comment down below, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. But, but, you know, you know, with paying cash on it, on, you know, on a house, if, if you're in that position, obviously not everybody is, but if you are, that gives you a huge advantage over everybody else. But if you want to get cash out, you got to worry about the delayed financing guideline. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. If you got any questions, let me know. Comment down below, uh, like I said, or just shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.